Only on Fox here, we told you last night as breaking news, this man was shot outside the Dollar General store in Pelzer and Augusta Road. Tonight, we know his name was Dallas Rosemond. And that is a look at the scene. We saw that crime scene tape all across the front and side parking lot of the Dollar General. And this morning we learned this guy, Corey Daniel, turned himself in and has since been charged with murder. And as we've learned more from the family, it's even more heartbreaking to know who witnessed uh, this homicide there right outside that store. Mm. Only Fox Carolina show Romine spoke with the family tonight. Well, Tori, a pack of goldfish for his son and cigarettes for himself. Those are two things I'm told that Dallas was at the Dollar General store Tuesday night for. But instead, the parking lot is where he died right in front of his son and his family wants to ask the shooter why. A snapshot in time of a brother and sister's last moments together. That's the last photo and only photo I have. Courtney Davis tells me it was taken only five days before her brother Dallas Roseman was shot and killed outside of this Dollar General along Augusta Road. I am definitely going to miss this smell. That's something that everyone knows him by is his beautiful smell. Greenville County deputies tell us Dallas Roseman pulled up and already in the parking lot sat Corey Daniel. I'm thinking they, they had some history from back in the day. Courtney says her brother went to buy a pack of goldfish for his 11 year old son, but never got them. As Dallas started walking towards Daniel's car, deputies say Daniel immediately pulled a gun and shot Dallas dead. They both are men. He's older than my brother, old enough to be his father. He just took my brother's life in front of my nephew, my 11 year old nephew who will never, ever, ever, ever forget this. We're told Daniel initially fled the scene after shooting Dallas, but turned himself in at the Williamson Police Department Wednesday, now charged with murder. He just had, had a big heart. He didn't deserve to die. Dallas has three kids, his sister saying one of which will never be able to unsee what happened in this parking lot. And he's just a beautiful person, and I, I really, really can't believe that I lost him that fast. And Courtney goes on to tell me that Dallas had just recently turned his life really around. She only got 60 days with him before the shooting, and he got a job this past Thursday and was trying to absorb as much time with his kids as possible. Tori and Cody, back to you.